Fox News Alert now. Atlanta commuters facing a really tough morning and probably for weeks ahead after a major interstate highway burst into flames and collapsed last night. Check it out. Investigators say PVC pipes may have caught fire underneath that elevated road. Georgia's governor now declaring a state of emergency as fire... Drivers, parts of I-20 Westbound are now closed in DeKalb County after a blowout has caused the interstate to buckle. And remember, we are less than 20 days removed from the bridge collapse on I-85. Suddenly this morning, another incident unplanned that snarled up this highway and kept it completely cut off until very recently. This never happens. Never happens. This is a once in a almost a... a lifetime nearly experience. And yet for Atlantans, it's too familiar. Another chunk of interstate has become unusable. Cue the traffic backup, the emergency crews, and the bystanders breaking out cell phones. First. Southerners, get it together. When are you gonna ask for more? For the sixth time in four months, the power has gone out. Every time the wind blows and every time the rain falls, the power has gone out. Why is it the only technologically advanced place in this stupid straw hat, tobacco spitting, southern ignorant spot is the prison. The prison is the only place with the lights still on. The prison is the only place where they spend the money. The only place where the road is paved is on the way to the prison. The schools and the houses be damned. It's simple. Take the budget that you have for your prison, your school to prison pipeline, take that budget, cut it in half. Use the half that you now have and put it into your infrastructure. How can you live like this, people? What kind of straw hat engineering in the 21st century allows the, the every time the wind blows and, and the rain falls, the power to go out? I've lost more money in my business. What is wrong with you? The reason why you're 45th in education and number one in racism is because your priorities are skewed. Stop. Stop calling the northern people elite. Stop calling them elite because they expect their power to be on. Because they expect their school system to work. Because they expect business to thrive. Stop calling them elite and just expect more. It has been raining on earth for 400 billion years. Figure it out! Six times in four months, my power has gone out. And there's been no earthquake, there's no tsunami, there's no hurricane, there's no tornado. It just fucking rained outside. That's it. You can't figure it out yet, but your prisons are the best. There's been a hole on my street for two years. But the road to the prison is paved. Hot black pavement. It's great to ride there. You Southern people want to be taken seriously as intellectuals. Don't let this happen. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? Stop worrying about the Mexicans and the blacks and whoever else you hate. Worry about your goddamn power line. Put them underground like every other built up city in the 21st century in America. Start worrying about your roads, your pipelines. These things matter. Stop letting these Republican governors and senators and people who you elect because you think that they tote the Bible higher than the other guy. Stop letting them convince you that spending money is bad. Because if you don't spend the money on yourself, this happens. This never happens never happens this is a once in a almost a, a 
lifetime nearly experience. And yet for Atlantans, it's too familiar. Another chunk of interstate has become unusable. Cue the traffic backup, the emergency crews, and the bystanders breaking out cell phones. It's simple. For every new 2017 Dodge Charger that these police have out there, we have five schools that haven't been renovated since 1968. Why is that? Why is it that the prison looks like the W freaking hotel, but all the rest of the streets and the houses look like freaking hen houses and cow pastures? Take a little bit of the money that you give to lock the black people away and use it for yourself! Are you that ignorant? Are you that stupid? Are you that hateful? What is wrong with you? How do you allow this? How is this just okay? How do you call Northerners elite? Because they ask for simple human conditions of living in the 21st century. Get it together, man.